Hi, it's Cheryl Dorskin, and I'm here to show you how to make a creative border using Adobe Photoshop. So I have my image that um, I'm using in tribute to Kandinsky and Van Gogh. And um, the first thing we're going to do is unlock this background layer by double clicking it, and we're going to rename it. We're going to call it Image. Now we're going to create two more layers. And it's really good practice to name your layers right away. So the next layer is going to be called background. Normally, normally um, the image is the background, but we're going to change that. And um, the second layer is going to be modified border to represent the command we're going to use. Then I'd like you to restack them, put background on the bottom, image in the middle, modify border up top. Then we're going to stay on the image layer and we're going to increase the canvas size by going to image, canvas size, and here you have a choice of um, different ways to change it. I'm going to use percentage, it just works as a teacher to keep percentages. So 120 all around, even border, there we go. So now I'm going to go on to the background layer. It's really important that you stay on the layers of this exercise. That's, that's where um, people have problems. Otherwise, it's really easy. I do want to point out that this is the um, default foreground background. So I'm going to go to Edit, Fill and I'm going to fill with my background color, which is white, and I'm going to say OK. So now I have white background, my image, and I have a modified border, which I haven't done yet. So on the image layer, you're going to select it using the marquee tool, not that. And um, so you're going to select the layer and we are then going to move up to the modify border layer and we're going to go to select modify border click border and here you can put in any number you want and it do, does default to what you used last and i'm going to use 50. um well actually let's change it just so you can see i'll, I'll use 60. and now you can see those dancing ants now I'm going to pick a yellow border um, to really sort of hone in on Van Gogh. And to do this, you could do it a number of ways. In Photoshop, you can always do everything a number of ways. So I'll start this way first. We'll go back to Fill again. And I'll click on Color. And it brings me up the Color Picker. And I also have, if you can see over here on the left, follow my cursor, I have a little eyedropper. So I'm going to pick um, one of these sunflowers. And you can see if I move around, not all sunflowers in the photo are the same color. So now I'm looking for tonality. And um, I'd rather have a more somber yellow than bright because with Van Gogh in mind. So I'll say OK. And I'll fill it with that color. Now, you can go through the blending modes and really change that border. I happen to like lighten. The shortcut is you can press on the Mac, the shift key and the plus, and it will take you through different blending modes. This linear dodge add is, is new to the CC Photoshops. There's lighter color. So, I mean, at this point, a little of this is aesthetic taste. You know, for me, I, don't, I won't go with this divide because if I wanted blue, I would have picked blue. So uh, if you do Command minus, you can go back to find one you like. Um, I like this lighten. Let's just see. I think I'm going to keep it on lighten. 
And you can see, I'll bring this up, it darkened it, but it also created transparency. I can see the image through that, and I like that. I can further control the border by either adjusting the fill, how much that's actually filling the space, or by opacity. But for now, I'll put it back to 100 so you can see. And then one more other thing I can do is do um, Command T for transform, and I can I can play with the size and the position of the border. So let's let's do that. Let's move that in, and then I'll commit to that, and I think that looks pretty good. But for review, let's do one more. I'll do new layer. We'll do border two, and just to repeat, we're going to go back onto the image. Don't forget to be on the right layers. Let's select the image. This time I'm going to move in. Notice how this flowers are coming out over it. I, I like that. Anyway, I selected the image. I'm going to go to border two. I'm going to do select, modify border, defaulted to 60. Let's go to 80 this time. Let's like really pump it up and say OK. And now let's add, you know, you can add any color, but I'm going to add a green. I guess maybe play it a little safe. And that's a little too cheery of a green for me as well. And so just remember, um, green, there are many, many, many colors green. So although green is a name of a hue, there are many, many tints and tones. And I'm I'm going to pick a darker, deeper one. And I'm going to fill. Notice my foreground color is now green. Um, so I'm going to fill that border with my foreground color. And I'm going to say OK. So I will deselect this so you can see it better. And I don't, I don't know if I like that. So what I'll do is go through my blending modes, command, command plus, does this dissolve thing, if I lower it, I don't know, could be a little Van Gogh-y, but let's see what else. Shift plus, make sure you're on the right layer. Now that's sort of interesting because I like how the flowers are popping there, um, but I don't like the color got too dark, so I could lower that. So I think this is a good place to stop. I will say that uh, the picture needs a signature, so perhaps join me for my painting photos class, and um, you'll have opportunity to do signatures there. Thanks a lot for listening, and I hope to see you in class.